This video is available on BitSuit and Odyssey. Join me there for exclusive content. I never expected to actually find this. In my first ever memoirs of a gamer, I said this. Eventually, this turned into the most memorable disappointment of my childhood. There was another older one where there was a bundle of games, none of which basically ran, but that is a story for another video. And this is what I was talking about, the Mega Media Media Pack 4, spelled with a K because 90s. Now, everything I thought I'd remembered about this bundle was actually wrong. For starters, the size. I remember it being bigger, while the art was horizontally oriented and not vertical. On the cover art, I thought there was a carrier. And though there is a ship, it is not a carrier. In regards of the content, I thought US Navy fighters was included. But it turns out, it wasn't and I thought none of the games included actually worked, which as we will see later, at least some of them did. Now this creates a very good question. How do I know that this is the correct bundle if everything I remember about it was wrong? Have you ever had this feeling seeing something that you don't clearly remember, but it tickles the back of your mind when you see it? This is the case with the cover art. I might not be remembering it clearly, but there is an air of familiarity about it. Of course, there's something else that convinced me that this was the correct bundle. Naturally, when I found it, I wanted to look up the games on YouTube. Enter the first game I looked up, Black Knight Marine Strike Fighter, a game that I don't even remember playing. However, what I do remember is this. No, not the intro, but the music. I remember this tune sort of clearly. Thing is, I thought it was in another game. I mentioned how I thought that the bundle included US Navy fighters earlier. I thought that Black Knight's intro tune was in that. But when I heard it, the puzzle pieces started to fall into place. Since I remember the music to Black Knight, Clearly all games being non-functional was not the case. Plus I remember playing a biplane flight sim, which it could be the included Dawn Patrol. Anyway, before or around the time my dad bought Mega Pack 4, an older cousin of mine lent us some games, one of which was United States Navy Fighters. At the time I thought my dad bought the bundle so that we had Navy Fighters too. But clearly that wasn't the case. Somehow, my memories of Black Knight and Navy Fighters got mushed together. Six-year-old me couldn't possibly distinguish from two very similar looking games. So yeah, yep. Basically, the biggest disappointment of my childhood was partially due to me and how I misremembered everything. And so, this is another Memoirs of a Gamer done. A rather short one, this one. I will be unboxing Mega Pack 4 on my next vid, so if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so and not miss anything. This has been Retro Amateur, thanks for watching.